What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zyox, the legendary one, and today it's about time I do the guide a lot of you guys have been looking for. Now, obviously, today's guide is going to be how to auto farm odd PC. Now, obviously, you guys know there's um blue stacks which you can use. Um, well, we are going to be using blue stacks in this video, but I'm not going to be showing you guys blue stacks in terms of the macro recorder on blue stacks like i know other people have um because i don't think like i think that one is a bit more difficult for especially for newer players right someone i think his name was Ro ronnie um ronin so i forgot it was like something ronin t i think he was saying he was on a pc and stuff like that and um but yeah, basically, I'm going to, you know, try to make it much more easier on Blue Sex for a lot of you guys. Even if, you know, it's pretty, like a five-year-old could do it, basically. So, before we begin, before we begin, I just want to say thank you all. You guys have been going crazy again. We're like six subs away from 1.9K. And uh, you guys have been smashing. You guys have been watching all the videos. Like, lately, literally, every video we've been uploading within like the last week or two. Let me see. Yeah, within the last two weeks, I've all got 1K plus views, and that's crazy for me. Actually, they're 2K, actually. You guys are going crazy with it. But again, thank you guys all for the support. But yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm going to try to have timestamps. I don't know how it works on YouTube, but I will set it up um, so you can just skip to the parts you need help with the most. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys at the next timestamp. All right, guys. So first things first, you're going to need to download Blue Stacks 5. Um, reason why you need Blue Stacks 5 is because this is the best emulator they're out like that's currently out right now, guaranteed. Because this emulator, Blue Stacks 5, this is not a sponsor or anything, but Blue Stacks 5 makes it that even if you have a trash PC, like not like a quality gaming PC, you know, you're what's it called? You're going to be able to like you know. Be able to play these games basically like you're gonna be able to run bbs if you have like the worst for like 2001 pc probably not but if you have a fairly like decent pc that can run you know blue stacks or just even a decent pc this will help you because as you see it says it's uh up to 50 percent less ram usage which is very good 50 percent faster set uh, startup time and all that stuff they basically BlueStacks 5's optimize the settings for your PC so that you can play these games. Literally, the moment you download it. So, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. All you got to do is hit download BlueStacks 5. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. But you click download BlueStacks 5, which is right here. Um, and then, obviously, it's just going to download. And then, I'm going to show you guys the next screen we have. Alright, guys. So, once you've downloaded BlueStacks, don't mind the games and stuff you see on my screen. This is just I play a lot of games on BlueStacks. You know what I mean? But, um... That's how you know I use it a lot, so you can trust my opinion that BlueStacks 5 is it. But once you guys have downloaded BlueStacks, um, you guys are probably going to have the N32 version. As you see, um, you can't really see, but up here, it says N32 for you most likely. Um, what you want to do is you're going to want to come over here, right? You can either go into your desktop and click the, what's it called? A multiple instance, or you can just click the second last tab here on the side. You just click it right and then you want to come down here click instance um and then you're gonna click fresh instance you're gonna click this and you're going to get the 64 bit right if you know if bbs does work for you on 32 bit then that's fine i haven't tested it on 32 bit but i do know it works on uh 64 bit so if it doesn't work for you on 32 bit you can get 64 bit and also keep in mind 64 bits the second one you guys can't really see it on my screen i don't think but you'll be able to see it um when you download yourself um 64 bit does not mean you need to have a 64 bit pc it just means that it's going to be running in 64 bit so um your pc is not going to explode or anything like that right keep in mind again you do not need to have 64 bits um of the like a 64 bit pc to run 64 bit so just make sure you guys get the 64 bit version and then when you're done that you're going to want to go to the play store and you're going to want to download bleach brave or you can just search up i right, want bleachers report okay um you're gonna want to go to bleach and then you're going to go find bleach brave souls anime game that's what it's called um bleach brave souls anime game once you have that obviously you're going to open bleach brave souls um and you're going to you know log in and stuff like that but actually before we go in there you're gonna want to go to settings too i found this like when i downloaded it, you probably have a question it keeps crashing for me see it keeps crashing for me what i it was crashing for me as well and it's crashing for some of my other friends as well but 
how you fix that from what I've done is I've it was on direct X here for me and it was on uh, capability so what you want to do is change it to OpenGL, which is the first one under here and then performance mode which is the second one there right um, compatibility as well you can do that um, if you need to I guess but performance I just prefer better performance it doesn't really matter which one you choose at the top but I would recommend choosing OpenGL that it works the best basically um, so yeah now you open up your you know BBS and then you get into the game once you've downloaded that download the BBS logged in your account and everything um, I don't need to teach you guys how to do that. I'm sure you know how to do that what you're gonna want to do is go to the Play Store and then search up auto clicker right now I've tested out some auto clickers this one if you've watched my Android guide basically from the Android guide um, like this point of the video it's basically the Android guide you just download this um, auto clicker and you can you know go through it again I have this on the Android guide um, but I wouldn't recommend this one because I've tried using this one on BlueStacks. It works for some people, but it doesn't work for me personally. Um, so I've also tried these two. These work. This one works very well. Um, and also this one is the one I think is probably the best one to use for most. Um, OP Auto Clicker. So either one, two, or three. Um, they also have a light version of that one, I think. Yeah. So um, either Auto Clicker Automatic Tap, OP Auto Clicker, or Auto Clicker that is by... Uh, MVQ studio basically um, so download whichever one whichever one works um, how you know it works when you open it right you're going to obviously it's gonna say enable uh, auto clicker you turn it on and then you click enable multiple you multi target mode never click the single multi target mode you click it um, and I already have things so I'm gonna just choose two macros when you have this on the screen and you can move this around right when you can move this around that means the auto clicker works if you go home you will see it's still there you can move it around and all that stuff um so we're gonna go to bbs and uh yeah i'm gonna help you guys set it up so i'll see you guys when we get into you know actually you know screw it i can just you know go there real quick um you know you just get there real quick so yeah like again this is probably the best one for most i would say the op um what's it called auto clicking and stuff like that Again, I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to use it, but I'm not going to show you guys where to place it and stuff like that um, because I already have placements. So I guess I could show you where my placement is. And if you want to eyeball it, then you can do that. Um, and then, yeah, there's that. So whenever we can get in there, it will let me get in. Okay. I was just taking this sweet time, I guess. But uh, yeah, so you're going to say I was probably working on my resurrected characters here, right? No, yeah, I was just forming pots. So, um, and not pots, I'll just farm crystals. So yeah, um, this is mainly for the points event. You can also farm story. I'm sure if you notice when I opened it, um, and you go to open at the top here, it shows story farm and points event farm. So I'm going to show you guys both of it. Story farm, uh, you open it and then this is what it looks like. These pointers are the story farm ones. So I'm going to go to story. I'm not going to actually farm story, but I'm just going to show you the pointers. Now make sure you're looking at three and four. Like, one you want it to be you know what's it called in between the chat button and menu but make sure it's not on menu like if you click play and it's opening menu that's not what you want you know what i mean make sure you keep doing it until you you just keep testing it playing around with it until it's not clicking um menu from what i've noticed when the little one is like in the red circle basically then it won't even open up the chat and you're fine oh okay it just went in um, so that's where one wants to be for the story You want it to be in between the bubble and menu But you don't want it clicking the menu reason being is because when you're farming story that will be the skip button, right? Two Two is only here because when you go into the story and you're auto farming it It's going to automatically send friends. So if you don't want to add friends, you just two is gonna click cancel um, Three is to go into the next stage, right? So it's gonna say next story stage It's automatically gonna go there and then four is to click when I click it, it's forced to click prepare for battle or prepare for quest and then also start. Also keep in mind three and four. Four, you just need to be like right here on the sides. You can again, eyeball it, but make sure three is not clicking here. So again, move it around test play and make sure when you click play, three is not clicking any of these because if three is clicking one of these, it's going to open one of them. So three, it looks like, as you see, it looks like my three is on it, but it's actually not. My three is where the three dots are here um, to like, you know, the tabs, I guess. So just keep that in mind. Um, so that's one for the story. And then if I uh, delete them all real quick, right, um, and then we open up my point event one, right? Point event, 
These are my points event ones, so I'm gonna go to the points event real quick. Event. Right. What's your points? Quick. Limited time event. So this is not really only the points. I mean, I guess it is the only points event you can really do this one for. But uh, yeah. So points event, how it works is after you click it, you don't need to uh, thing. Um, it's not gonna ever go back to that home screen. So you're going to have one on what's it called? I mean, I guess I can just play it out for you guys. Um, to show you guys the placement so yeah i mean now uh, okay they already went in and uh hopefully i have gear on that apache um no i have gear i just don't have links so hopefully she does why uh fine but yeah basically one you always want i guess i'll break through it while it's going right i was gonna you know fast forward it but i guess i'll just talk about it while it's going um again i will have timestamps so if you don't want to hear this part just go to the next timestamp which will probably be the ending um so one you want it to be in between auto and strong attack right always one is always in there reason being is that's going to click retry um so it's just going to reopen up the point event two is for closing all right so it's going to say tap screen tap screen and then it's going to say closer and that's where this is going to be you want to make sure this is in between summon and home so anywhere in between summon summon and home in that middle part whatever this area is when we get there um make sure uh, it's in between there and it's closing the second screen because then you know you're going to be able to get to the next screen if my characters die it's fine um three is to close friend request right so th again three is like friend request if you see a friend um again you could try to eyeball it and stuff like that if you want but uh yeah you i'm sure you get it done three that's to cancel friends again because you're obviously gonna it's gonna force you after you do a couple runs to bring friends and stuff like that four is to click close the reward so when you do times five it shows you the reward you got within the stages that's what that is for um right to close the stage and then five is to um what is five for i guess five is for hmm what was five for i don't even remember what five was for i need to okay we, we all died here i can't okay wait let me oh pause it wait um what was five for I know five was something important. All five of these points matter. Like they don't have any of their just for thing. Okay, we can actually see here. So perfect. Um, tap screen, right? We didn't get any rewards, right? Um, perfect. Actually, I should have just done this. So five was retry. Okay, so one is to click start, and then five was retry. I thought retry was here. My bad. So yeah, one is to click start. When you click retry, right? So if I click play, it's gonna click everywhere. Then as you see, five clicked into retry. And retry is gonna reopen the same stage. Um, you don't want to on top of um, use five soul tickets because it's gonna turn it on and off. So just slightly under it. Um, and then obviously one is on start quest. And then four is um, again to close the rewards you get. And then three is for friends. So hopefully you know this video was helpful for you guys. I know this is a bit longer one, but um, I try to explain as much as I can in terms of the story and the points event. Um, you could use this to farm anything as else, but like any other events you need. But again, that's up to you guys. You need to mix and match and place it there. Um, I wish I could like just download this, put it in a Google Drive and leave the link in the description. But I can't. Sadly, I was looking for one auto clicker that does that. But like I said, I can't do that sadly. But um, yeah, I find this a lot more easier instead of the macro because the macro doesn't show you bullet points like this. Like for example, let's say I mess up on the macro and I click here. All right, I click all the way here, but I meant to click here. I have to redo it and keep redoing it until I get the proper, you know, proper placement. While here, I can just move it. Like I just click, hold, drag, and move. Right, that's how you move it. Um, and then also before we actually end off, I do need to show you guys how to save it. So once you've set it up, so you don't have to redo this all the time, you're gonna hit the little gear icon here, and you're going to type in the name, right? So whatever. It, this is for the same for every single one. It's going to show the exact same. You're gonna type in the name. Obviously, I'm not going to save it because it's going to redo it. But once you've typed in the name, you're going to hit save here. It's going to save, save here. And then you click save and it will close it. Um, so you type in the name, hit save, save. And then whenever you come back to it, um, it's going to automatically ask you which one you want to you know, use. So you either click it or you click open. And then you can check, as you see, whichever ones you have here. So again, hopefully this video was helpful for a lot of you guys. I know um, a lot of you guys want to auto farm, but you, a lot of you guys either are on playstation sadly if you are on i should have made a disclaimer if you are on playstation you won't be able to do this because you cannot transfer your account over but if you're on ios or pc 
um, this is like the best thing for you if you don't want to do it on your phone, right? This is like the second best thing you can do. Um, if you're on iOS, this is the best thing you can do. If you're on PC with an Android, this is the second best thing you can do. Um, I find it easier on my phone regardless, but then again, it's just literally emulators are phones on the PC. So again, if you want to auto farm on the PC, this is what you do. If you want to, you know, auto farm with, um, what's it called? If you're an iPhone user and you don't have a way to auto farm, this is the second best option you have or the best option you have. But again, let me know in the comments down below if this was helpful or not. Let me know if, if you have any questions. I'm sure me or somebody else can help you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm out. Peace.